Just like that, the world became vegan. Just like that, PM Modi became 2.0. And just like that, Micromax stopped making ads. Well, whatever happened to them? And why are we talking about them on Power Drift? That's because they were busy making this. Not a quad core super zoom flagship phone, but a motorcycle. And not just any motorcycle, an electric one at that. The Revolt RV400. The first thing that you'll notice is that it looks like a normal bike. The Revolt isn't a Revolt really, but a reunion. A reunion of all the greatest hits, the Pulsars, the Dukes and the FZs. A good thing because the riding position also looks similar to that of a premium commuter, upright and easy. Let's talk about range and top speed. Now the ARAI certified number for range for the Revolt RV400 is about 156 kilometers. Only Okinawa Spray Scooter promises the range more than that. How will it translate to real life efficiency is something that we'll have to figure out once we get our hands on the motorcycle. But when we talk about top speed, Revolt are claiming that you can get up to 85 km per hour. When you look at it on paper, that's not a lot of speed. But when you're planning to use it in the city, I think it's going to be sufficient. Now, all of this has been made possible because of this battery management system, whose entire details have not been divulged as of yet. And when it comes to charging, Revolt says there are four ways to charge this motorcycle. Number one is going to be the simplest way to charge an electric vehicle. You have a connecting point, you have a cable, attach it and you're good to go. Number two is portable battery. You can remove the old one out, put a new one in and you're good to go there as well. Number three is this system known as a swap system. Now basically, Revolt is going to set up swap stations across the city. Consider them to be charging points. If you think your motorcycle is going to run out of juice, enter any of these swap stations, take your old battery out and put the new one in. And number four, which is the final one, is going to be a delivery method. Well, you sit on a motorcycle one day and you figure out that your battery has zero juice place an order through the app and there will be a delivery system that will get you a new battery, remove the old one out, put the new one in. Back then what worked for the phone company was ingenuity. Now they have taken it to the next level by offering it on their new creation. Because Revolt claims that the RV400 will be India's first AI-enabled motorcycle. Which means it can learn things by acquiring data through an inbuilt 4G SIM. Honestly, I think that's the way going forward for all electric vehicles. To bump up security, it also has geofencing technology which means you can restrict its operating distance. Should the bike cross that perimeter, an alarm will trigger and the bike will shut down. Yes, as you guys know, Revolt is offering a lot of app connectivity options with the RV400. For example, you can start the motorcycle by just swiping on the app. You also have the option of changing the sound of the motorcycle through four different engine sounds, which is completely unheard of because this is an electric vehicle. And the great part is that this is going to be an open source playground, which means you as a consumer or an enthusiast can come in, create your own sound and stick it on the motorcycle. What are you thinking? What I'm disappointed to see is the lack of ABS or even CBS. Now the Revolt RV400 is undoubtedly one of the most promising propositions in the electric two-wheeler space right now. And here's the best part, it's almost ready. From June 25th, you can book this motorcycle with a meager sum of just rupees 1000, but the final pricing is going to be revealed next month. Revolt is going to start the bookings on Amazon in Delhi and then they're going to move on to different cities across the country. By then, hopefully we'll have a full-fledged review ready just for you guys. What do you think about the price of this motorcycle? Should it be priced below a lakh or just above a lakh? Let us know in the comment section below. And until the next one, I'm Varun Painter and I will see you later.